Hi guys, it's Ben here with my preview of Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion in the FA Cup taking place on Saturday night at an unusual kickoff time of 7.45pm for a Saturday. That's going to be bizarre, but never mind. Anyway, apologies for my voice. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Something I probably picked up in Swansea on Monday night. Um, so obviously just to touch on that game before we get into looking ahead to West Brom. Uh, you may have seen my vlog from the evening. If not, do check it out. But... Um, Obviously very subdued after it, um, a horrible way for our 18 game unbeaten run to come to an end. Not the sort of position uh, we should be losing to, uh, not the sort of manner in which we should be losing either. Um, I mean, a sloppy set piece goal, obviously we are kind of renowned for that in recent years, albeit we haven't done too much of it recently. Um, lots of jokes flying around from opposition fans about us buying Van Dijk for £75 million to so stop conceding from corners and then he's the one that... Um, doesn't make the mistake, but maybe could have done a bit better with the two clearances that led to the corner. Uh, and then it's his head, obviously, that falls to Alfie Mawson eventually, um, although you know not necessarily completely his fault. Um, I don't think he was the worst player on the pitch by any stretch of imagination. Van Dijk, I thought he did okay uh, distribution-wise and everything. Um, but I think everyone in in, uh, in Red was guilty of being a bit too sluggish, slow, um, not creative enough. And not clinical enough. I mean, we created enough chances really to, to win the game, but um, you'd still expect us to create more against the worst team in the league. But the two or three clear chances that we did create should have been buried. Obviously, Salah in the first half, Mane in the first half, Firmino right at the death. Just a frustrating game, and you know, it's it's one of them. It's it's, it's a result that we sort of saw this time last season. Um, we lost at home to Swansea, lost away at Hull put in some down performances away at the likes of Leicester and um, there were just some, some horrible days. Obviously we hope this isn't the start of another run like that. Um, there's been a bit more rotation this season so you'd expect that with a slightly bigger squad um, we should be able to manage but we've just sold Philippe Coutinho and as everyone who follows Liverpool accounts on Twitter knows there's a lot of outrage on social media about the fact we haven't replaced him yet. Um, we've just signed a left back from Falkirk today um, for 200 grand, but obviously we haven't made the, the marquee signing uh, in attacking positions that, that we're looking for uh, since Coutinho left, which is look, it's frustrating, and I, I, I uh, I'd love to see Thomas Lamar in a Liverpool shirt by the end of the month, um, but I have to trust the manager. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say on that. So looking ahead to West Brom, I mean, obviously I expect to see a lot of changes. Um, West Brom did actually go quite strong in their previous round against uh, Exeter and we went strong obviously against Everton in the Merseyside derby um, but I expect the Klopp to bring the changes. I think it's time to have a look at some players to maybe replace those uh, or you know give them an opportunity to um, impress and maybe replace those that are slightly out of form. So one that's out of form is, is Joe Gomez. I think it's well documented how um, he's fallen asleep a few times. That there, just a few mistakes that led to goals. He was almost responsible for one uh, on Monday night as well when he, he tried to dive in and take the ball off of, uh, of their left winger. I can't remember who it was at the time, but um, it might have even been Ayu drifting out. Uh, completely committed himself, got done, then he's completely taken out the game. And that's happened a bit too often with Joe Gomez. So the team I've got written down uh, for what I think we might go with, I think Mignolet back in goal. I think you know we can't completely freeze him out. Let's give him a game. Um, I've got Trent, Lovren, Van Dijk and Robertson at the back. Uh, so Trent to come in for Gomez, I think there's very much competition for places there. Uh, Trent has got an opportunity to make that place his own, I think, if he, if he comes in and plays well. and Because um, he has played well when, he, when he's come in this season, with a couple of exceptions. Obviously he gets the goal against Swansea at home. Um, some impressive performances, some great crossing and everything. So um, attacking-wise in particular, he gives you something different. Uh, Lovren, obviously um, I'm not the biggest John Matip fan, I'm not the biggest Lovren fan. But I think he might come back in for an opportunity here to play alongside Van Dijk and see how that happens. Uh, Robertson, Moreno is kind of on the, on the mend, but um, still feeling some pain apparently. So Robertson, I, I would expect to, to keep his place here. In midfield, I've got Jordan Henderson coming back in. Um, in that number six role, obviously Emre Chan has had to play every single game pretty much since Henderson got injured. Uh, Henderson is back in training, so I would expect him to be thrust back in here, maybe give him 60. Uh, with uh, Milner and Alana. Uh, in midfield with him, I think Lallana, um, he started the odd game, but 
Um, he just needs to get more minutes under his belt. He did actually look quite bright when he came on at Swansea. Um, and it feels like a good opportunity to use James Milner uh, and rest Genie, who was poor against Swansea. And uh, rest Oxo Chairman, who's been playing well. Uh, now, the front three is quite unpredictable. I don't know how strong. I don't know. Obviously, we, we want to take this competition seriously, but Salah has played a lot of football. Mane has played a lot of football. Fabinho has played an awful lot of football. Um, I'm going to expect Mane to actually play out of the three. Um, just to try and play himself into form because he still, although he you know he did well against Man City obviously, um, but he's still struggling for that consistency and a bit of rhythm. So I think if you can give him this game, maybe get him on the on the score sheet again. Uh, we want to get back to the manner that we saw at the start of last season. So um, I think playing him here makes sense. Uh, as much as I'd love to see Firmino and Salah play as well, I don't think either of them will start. Um, I think Ben Woodburn might get the game uh, from the left hand side of the front three. I think uh, if we're going to keep him around. Um, then we've got to have a look at him if, if we're not signing anyone especially. Um, he's been kept so that we can use him. Um, he, you know, Klopp turned down loan approaches from Sunderland to, to keep him here. And if we do get an injury to one of the wide men, then you know, he, there's a big chance that Woodburn will have to step in at some point. So let's have a look at him here. And I think up front, obviously Solanke struggled so far in terms of a goal threat. Sturridge has been pretty much ignored even when fit. So I'm going to actually suggest that Danny Ings actually starts this one. As much as I'm, I'm obviously more of a Sturridge fan than I am any other striker uh, behind Firmino, but um, I think it makes sense to give Danny Ings a go from the start. I think he's actually looked quite bright. I, again, I thought he was pretty good uh, when he came on against Swansea. Yes, he should score, but I thought his, his um, positional sense was fine. Uh, very lively, very hungry, and I think I'd love to see him uh, from the start here. So that leaves you with some, some options off the bench. Um, the likes of Vinaldum rested. Uh, Sturridge, I think, should at least be on the bench. Solanke, you got on there. Um, Oxley Chamberlain, obviously Salah and Firmino, if you want to bench them, or, unless you want to completely give them a the rest. But uh, we've obviously had us filled three days later in mind. I think that's the sort of lineup we're going to be looking at. Uh, West Brom, I expect to go strong. Obviously, they, they held us to a goalless draw at Anfield when we were full strength, even with Coutinho in the team, with the Fab Four all together. So it's not going to be easy to break them down. They're, they're picking up a little bit of form. They got a point at Goodison Park. Uh, last weekend and they got the win over Brighton before that so they're kind of rejuvenated at the par there after he had a difficult start to his tenure there but I don't expect it to be easy at all. Uh, they're obviously quite good defensively, they've still got the Johnny Evanses of this world so um, it's not going to be a, a walk in the park but I still expect us to have too much for them. Um, over the tie, whether it, whether it gets done at Anfield, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to pick a narrow Liverpool win. I'm going to pick us to win 2-1, just about got over the line. Uh, we've, we've been doing that quite a bit recently, and I expect us to do the same again, just to, just about get it done. May, may, maybe a goal from an unlikely source late on to win it, but I do expect us to have enough. And, and if it does go to a replay and we go to the Hawthorns, I think we'll have enough there, even if we don't have enough at Anfield when they're going to obviously part the bus. But either way, I'd be surprised if we don't make it through. Uh, this fourth round. I know I've been predicting us to win a lot of games recently, including the Swansea one. I thought we'd win 4 0, but this one I'm going for a more conservative, narrow 2 1 win for the Reds. Uh, and if I'm going to pick the scorers, I'm going to go for Danny Ings because I like him when I want him to score, and Sadio Mane because he'll be the best player on the pitch. Um, so there you go. Uh, again, apologies for the cold. Um, but leave a comment with your predictions, um, goal scoring predictions, team predictions. Obviously, it's quite a hard team to pick. Uh, obviously, we go to Huddersfield a few days later, so. Klopp will obviously have that one in mind with the top four still being a big aim, but I want to win a trophy this season. I'm sure he does too. It's been way too long. So as I say, leave, leave, leave a comment with your thoughts. Subscribe if you're, if you're new to the channel and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's been my saying all of those and I'll speak to you very, very soon.